Okay, for homework 2.8, I'd like you to copy all of this work on a piece of paper that you could turn in and then show me the three words, show me that you listen. So do this on a separate piece of graph paper from your notebook that you could tear out and turn in and then write down the three words. Here we go. So again, solving these, before I graph them, you need to solve these for Y. And that always involves adding or subtracting this X term away first, and then after that's gone, dividing. You always do these the same. Add or subtract that X term away first, and then divide. Know that dividing by negative number switches it. So here we go. First one, to get rid of that 4X, which is positive, the opposite, minus 4X to both sides. That will make these cancel away. Bring down that 3Y. Bring down your inequality, negative 4x and 12. All I can do is write them next to each other like that. Now the opposite times in by 3, dividing everything by 3. So if I divide everything by 3, we'll make that y all by itself. If I can scoot that down a little bit. And that will give me this equation, the graph for blue, y less than or equal to, no switching, because I didn't divide by a negative, negative 4 thirds x, that means write three boxes down 4, plus positive 4 from dividing 12 and 3. That gives me the line in blue to graph. Before I do that, solve the second one for x, keep that roll going, solve for y. So first step, add or subtract that x term away. Make sure on this one, first word is horse, horse. Make sure that you bring down the negative with this y. Don't add negative x and two. Don't write that x minus two, it's negative x plus two. And right here, the opposite of timesing by negative one, dividing everything by negative one. That will make your inequality switch its direction. It's gonna be y less than, and then this is going to be positive x, because that negative 1 divided by this negative 1, and then 2 divided by negative 1 gives me negative 2. Inequality switches right here, because I'm dividing by a negative. So that's the line in red I'm about to graph. <clears throat> Second word is surf. Surf. Here we go. Graph the 1 in blue. Positive 4 for my y-intercept, and then for that slope is right 3, down 4, because that negative, right 3, down 4, right 3, down 4, right 3 boxes, down 4, right 3, down 4, stair step, opposite, left 3, up 4, left 3, up 4, that line will be a solid line, because of the inequality, having that little equal line under there, make sure you draw your lines long. Put arrows on either side. If it's dotted, clearly show me it's dotted. This one has me shade less than, so that's going to be below shade under that blue line. Under is down here. Just do a little bit less than below. Now the one in red, starting with my y-intercept of negative 2. This one has a slope of positive 1 over 1. Remember that little hidden one? That's right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1. Doesn't matter if these intersect on a solid line or not. Stair step the opposite way, same slope on the line. This line will be a Dotted line, I'll show you how to draw that. Draw your lines nice and long. Let's do that as a line. All right, put arrows on either side of that line. Nice and long. Dashed boundary because of that inequality being just plain old less than and then less than is below for this one too so I'm going to shade under 
this red one. And I could see that the only place where these intersections come together is this one part of my graph right here. So I could fill in those lines nice and neat. Check your pattern. Nice and neat. Check your pattern. Nice and neat. And then for today, I'd like you to pick a point in the zone and check it. Let's pick my coordinate right here. Or how about this one right here? A little bit, a little bit different. That has the coordinate three for x down two for y. That is that point in the solution zone that I'm going to pick, and I'm going to plug that x and y either into the original x and y or the solved for x and y. It does not matter. It is up to you. I'm going to replace that into the first one because I, I don't want to touch that fraction. So here I go. For that y, plug in negative 2. Got my inequality still this way. For my x, oops, let's use that first one. I'm sorry. So I have 4. And where that x is, I put that 3 from the coordinate. Again, you could use the original form or the one you solved for y. Plug in negative 2 for y right here. See if that work gives me something less than or equal to 12. That gives me 12 minus 6. And yes, that's a true statement. 6 is less than or equal to 12. Now for my second check, I'm going to plug it into either the original or the new one. I'll do both on that one. I'd like you to show both. So for the original, that would be negative 3. Plug it in for 3 for that x minus, and then right there where that y is, I'm going to plug in negative 2 and see if that is more than 2. That gives me 3 plus 2. That gives me 5 more than 2. So that point worked in the original inequality where it's more than, but let's check the other one where it switches. So let's put the negative 2 where that y is for the switched one going this direction. put my x number right here, which is 3, and I have minus 2. That gives me negative 2 less than 3 minus 2, which is negative 1. That is a true statement. Negative 2 is less than negative 1. Or if you use the original, this 5 is more than 2. I just want you to see that when you're doing the check, you could plug that into the original ones, or you could plug that into the changed one. Third word is bonsai. Bonsai, you know it. All right, so show me out this piece of paper work tomorrow with the three words. Good luck.